All right, it is being described as the largest public transit investment in the GTHA's history. The Fed's investing $12 billion into five critical transit plans. But a lot of people have the questions as to when these shovels are actually going to go into the ground. For more, we welcome Federal Minister of Infrastructure Catherine McKenna. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to be joining you. Appreciate you joining this morning. I know you have a very busy schedule. We'll get to your, your later press conference in just a bit. But let's, let's take this apart for our viewers here in the GTHA. Um, this investment is significant when we're looking at a number of the lines here. Let's bring those up if we can for our viewers. Uh, when we're looking at the Ontario line, Eglinton Crosstown West Extension, Young Street North, and then the Scarborough Subway extending that. And then we are looking to uh, Hamilton Rapid Transit as well. Why now for this investment? Because there has been a lot of back and forth and there's been a push for the feds to bring in some money. Why is this the appropriate time? Well, uh, we've been working really hard with the province uh, over a year, to be honest. It's been tough negotiations because we've always said public transit is critically important. We're going to invest the dollars, but we need to make sure that we get a whole range of outcomes. Um, we knew public transit is good, uh, obviously, for commuters. We just saw the traffic. Uh, we all know the traffic in the greater Toronto area. So we need to get cars off the road uh, and have good public transit. But we also need to be thinking about climate change and driving down emissions. 20% uh, of our emissions come uh, from the transportation sector. And we need to make sure that there are benefits to the communities. Um, and all of those are included. It was a tough negotiation um, and it wasn't always easy. There's always politics in these things, but I've always been focused getting a good deal for Torontonians, more traffic. And of course, look, we're gonna get out of the pandemic. I know it's really tough uh, and people are exhausted, um, but the good news uh, is that life will go back to, to normal and we're gonna need good public transit and we need jobs. Mm -hmm. And so this is an investment for to restart our economy and create jobs. And some of the procurements are actually happening imminent. Well, they're already underway. So it's uh, really important to get shovels in the ground. These are very large projects that do take a while, um, but they're going to improve lives in the whole GTA. And I think that's really the point. Transit is about how quickly you can get home to see your kids, um, how you can get to work. I think of people that were, you know, taking. I hear folks telling me taking two buses. Uh, to get to the subway line and, and, you know, you might be an essential worker making not much more than minimum wage and it's taking you uh, a good part of an hour to get to your job. So the idea is to get traffic uh, going, uh, get uh, cars off the road and uh, have good public transit for Torontonians. So, Minister, as you mentioned, it, it's assumed that we're going to get back to normal because these shovels aren't going in the ground tomorrow. As you mentioned, there is procurement uh, ongoing now, but uh, there's a lot of people watching this with a critical eye saying, how can we be sure that those shovels will get in the ground? We've seen a lot of back and forth over a number of projects. Those living in the GTHA have seen sort of that seesaw. So is there the promise there that this is going to happen? This is going to happen. There's a deal and we are going ahead. Uh, we put up the money and we need to get it going. And by the way, jobs are starting right now, because as you say, when you go through procurements, there's a whole range of people involved with those. Um, and there's going to be huge opportunities. And this is part of our million uh, job plan. And we've always had the backs of Canadians. 80 cents of every dollar has come from the federal government to support uh, well, Canadians, but uh, Torontonians, the great people in the greater Toronto area. Uh, we've supported uh, the transit system through a hard time, through the pandemic when ridership was low. And we know we need to get going. And, and to put this in context, this is probably the largest investment in public infrastructure in Canada's history. Mm -hmm. This is a big deal and we need it to go. No more back and forth, just get going. And we have a very good deal for the people of the greater Toronto area. I Also Hamilton, uh, that's coming yes. soon. Uh, can we talk about, we have a, a couple announcements happening. One today and this one uh, through Thunder Bay. There are a number of officials involved here, including those in Thunder Bay and here in Toronto. Can you give us an idea of what's going to be announced today? Uh, well, I think people like streetcars in Toronto um, and people like jobs. So uh, as part of this deal, I said we can't just be thinking, uh, you know, about the greater Toronto area. We need to be thinking about workers uh, and we need to keep the plant open in Thunder Bay, the Alston plant. They're, that's the biggest employer in Thunder Bay and we can make some orders and get that going. Uh, so stay tuned for that announcement. 
And uh, I'm originally from Hamilton, and Hamilton deserves great public yes. transit, too. So there's an LRT announcement that was part of the deal, too. I made that as a condition uh, of getting the deal. So uh, great announcements. We're moving forward. Uh, this is great for jobs. It's great for climate change. Uh, it's great for people, and it's great for getting cars off the road and getting people uh, to and from work faster. All right, and for our viewers, if you want to get a closer look at the timelines for these plans, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. Uh, Minister Catherine McKenna, thank you for joining today. Thanks. A pleasure to join. Can't wait to be riding on the new transit. That would be nice. That'll be nice. Thank you. All right, 810 is your time right now. Talking transit, talking the roads. Stephanie Henry. <laughs>